Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up bank rules in QuickBooks Online. Okay, this can help make uh, your recording of transactions uh, a lot easier, especially if you have a lot of transactions that recur over and over. Okay, so first of all, you know, the requirement is you've got to have your bank feed set up. Okay, so um, if you haven't done this, make sure that you do. Uh, basically, the bank feeds will uh, bring in all of your transactions, download them, and then you categorize them uh, how they're supposed to go, where, you know, what accounts they're supposed to go to. Okay. Now, what you can do in QuickBooks Online is you can set up certain bank rules. Okay. Now, the bank rules basically tell QuickBooks, hey, when this transaction comes in, put it to this account or automatically put it to this account so that you don't even see it in the bank feed. Okay. Now you could get into trouble with some of this, but for a lot of these ongoing transactions, okay. So let's say we have some bank rules set up here for fuel, Starbucks, you know, mobile phone, etc. Okay. So whenever the bank text contains shell or bank text contains Chevron, set category to automobile fuel. Okay. And you can put auto add. Okay. That way, whenever a transaction comes in that has shell or Chevron in it, in the bank description, it will put it to the fuel account. Okay. All right. So here's how you're going to set up a new rule. Okay. So let's call this, um, we'll call this, uh, meals. Okay. For money out. Okay, so you can do it for money out or money in, in all bank accounts. Okay, so you can choose which bank account uh, or credit card. Uh, in this case, we're going to say an all bank account. Okay, if the bank text, and you can put description or amount, but let's say the bank text contains, and see here you can put doesn't contain or is exactly, we'll say contains McDonald's. Okay. And bank text contains, let's see if we say all, we'll say any of these conditions or bank text contains, you know, I don't know, Wendy's. Okay. Then you say the transaction type will be an expense. Okay. We're going to leave payee blank because it would be either McDonald's or Wendy's, but we're going to say the category. Okay, so in this case, uh, this will be if we have meals and entertainment. Okay, or if it's going to go to two trans or two lines, okay, you can split the transaction. Okay, right now we're going to say one hundred percent. We'll say one. Whoops. Point one. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, it's making me do a split. So let me take that split out of there. Um, we'll say amount and I'm going to say remainder. We're going to take that out of there. Okay, we'll take the split out of there because it's making us split it between the two. So there is no split in this. It's all going to meals and entertainment. And then we can just put a memo if we want to. Now down here, automatically add to my books. That way it just comes in and it goes straight in. All right, so if we save, okay, so now the rule we have meals. So if it contains McDonald's or Wendy's and you can add all sorts of things, Burger King or whatever, uh, set the memo to meals, set category to meals and entertainment, and it's going to auto add. Okay, simple as that. And if you need to go in and edit the bank rules, you can do that. Uh, but this way, when these transactions come in, they will automatically put in your books and it'll save you some time. All right. For everything on QuickBooks Online, how to get you set up from the very start to more complicated transactions, head on over to QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. And uh, there we've got full sets of tutorials on desktop and QuickBooks Online, as well as personal support from me to answer all of your specific QuickBooks questions. All right. Look forward to seeing you over there. We'll talk to you soon.